absolutely something you need to start investing in. All right, out with the fucking crypto, out with the monkeys, out with the doge. Rare fish is where it's at now, okay? Rare fish is literally will make you fucking rich in the matter of months. It is amazing. It's a life saver and a life changer. Now, we're going to get into how to get started. Because getting started is always the hardest part of investing, especially when you're in a new coin you might not know much about. Whether that be a well, <laughs> new coin. This ain't a coin, baby. These are fish. You know, this they're kind of a currency in a way, but they're also living things. You know, if we get, when investing in something new like a cryptocurrency or an NFT or some some crazy shit like that, it's kind of hard to know what you're doing. So that's why I made this little little presentation for you guys. All right, let's get started. Fish tanks. You have to store your rare fish somehow. You know? You know, like fish, they live in tanks. They live in water. You need tanks. There's a lot of good tanks you can get. For real good, for decent price. But you don't want to be go too cheap. You need a good high quality tank to keep your fish good. A good high quality tank will look something like this. That right there is a good quality tank. It's got little rocks. It's got nice water. It's got a little, little goldfish. It's like a penny stock, not too expensive, but nice. You know, nice, nice, well kept little rocks of varying colors. That's important. You don't want the same color. You're, you know, the fish will get bored. And bored fish don't sell for much. You want multicolored rock. It's very important. If you're taking notes, you might want to write this down. Next, we have that. A small fish tank. You could buy this at any grocery store or any store in general. You know, a grocery store as in like Walmart or Target. You know, comes with its own its own rare fish. It is called it is a rare fish known as Lil Clippers Neon. It's a neon fish, very rare. The tank is of good quality, a little small. Could really only house the fish it comes with, but one fish is better than no fish, as I say. And you're just getting started, right? You're not really balling too hard. Next. I'm going to show you an example of a very good tank, a high quality tank. You know, this is a tank you want to have. Now, you may think, Chiz, what are you showing me this for? This stuff looks like crap. No, 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 no. This is a perfect high quality tank you want to have for your rare fish. It's perfect. Look at all the life in that tank. All that life, all those nutrients for your fish to feed off of, amazing. Your fish will be the most rare fish of all. Because the thing is, those organisms will grow onto your fish. They'll grow on your fish, on their scales. And they'll look beautiful and amazing. And your fish will be healthy because of it. Your fish are actually much more healthy when the stuff is going on them, when stuff is not going on them. And a healthy, rare fish is much better than an unhealthy, rare fish. It sells for a lot more, too. Now, in our next slide, this is done something else very, very important. Rich uncles. Rich uncles, you need them. You need them, they're a necessity, all right? Rich uncles have fish. They have good fish, they know fish, you know? They're kind of like a, a group you could rely on to talk to, kind of like a, a advisors, rare fish advisors, because as we know, all rich uncles love fish especially the rare ones. Now, this is an example of a, of a rich uncle. Look at him, his money bags, his limousine, his nice house with a good lawn. Good lawn's great, you always want good lawn. You know, you know a nice suit, nice tie, big ass tie. Uh, you know, he looks happy, he's nice. Holding those money bags high. You know, he looks good, he's happy. That is a rare uncle you want, a rare, rare fish uncle. So rich uncles are rare. Sorry. Anyways, for the next example, I'm going to show you another example of a rich uncle. Now you may think, wow, yep, you know, that that's the uncle from the famous show Prince of Bel Air. He's a great guy. He's got a lot of money. He's trustworthy. But you would be sorely mistaken. He is not trustworthy. Because and also he has nephews and sons, to which he will also share his rare fish secrets with. There'll be less rare fish to go around. And also, 
Just look at him, man. He's not very trustworthy looking, is he? Looks like he steals things, doesn't he? he looks dangerous. But I digress. Anyways, another great example of a good rich uncle. Him. Look at him. Look at the way he looks at you. Loving eyes. That's a good relationship. You want a good relationship with your uncle. And that is how your uncle should look at you. Your good, rich uncle should look at you like that. You should look like that too. That beautiful, stunning face is amazing in every way. You want a guy who to be your uncle, you're going to want him to look like that. But also, what you may be asking, how am I get my rich uncle to give me fish? Well, that is, of course, shh, secrets, secret playtime, sitting on his lap, secret playtime with your uncle, like I did with my old, my old uncle Joe Bob. Perfect, amazing way to get the rare fish, and it's a, and it's all positively great. But you cannot tell your parents. You cannot tell your parents. Never. I digress. I digress. Safe first rare fish investments. You want to have a few safe, easy, cheap investments to get you situated. And here's are a few fish that I put in this presentation to help you see what to get. First fish is something called the Serenbu. It is uh, off near Pakistan, near the Middle East. That's why its name is like that. It's a beautiful fish. The word siren is in, is in it because some sailors who sailed there, English sailors, called it a siren for its beauty, when in fact it was just a fish. A very beautiful fish indeed. There. Look at its majesty. Its glory. Its beautiful textured, textured scales. All with all differing patterns and such. Giving it truly a unique look. That makes it truly stunning. This is, this is a pretty cheap rare fish. Only costs around $500,000. But you know, it's your first fish. I know it's a little cheap. You might think, oh, why am I wasting my time with this? It's fine. It's perfect. It's a perfect fish. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with going with a good old Serenbu. Next fish is amazing. It's something called the Creme Bleu. The Creme Bleu is one of my personal favorite rare fish to get. It's beautiful. It's amazing. It's stunning. The Creme Bleu is a name given to it due to its attributes, due to its beautiful blue fins and scales. They're truly blue. And it has a strange affinity for cream, apparently. That's how they catch them. They use cream products such as putting it in the water, you know, such as like ice cream and such. They truly love creme. And if anything with cream is amazing to them. Here's a picture of it. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Look at that. Look at that fresh white smile. Amazing. They are truly one of the world's wonders. Their value, of course, you're going to need two farms in Kentucky for this. Kentucky farms are also something that's been pretty big, not, not as big as rare fish. That's why Creme Bleu is only worth two, is worth two Kentucky farms, not the other way around. Because rare fish are always on top, always. But Kentucky farms are something you might want to get into if you're going to be going into the rare fish business. You know, you might want to look up on that, but we're not covering that in this presentation. The next fish is a beautiful fish with a beautiful name. It's beautiful name named Michael. Michael is an amazing fish. Extremely rare, but cheap. Cheap? Why? Um, I can really kind of tell you. It's a beautiful fish, very rare, hard to get, but an acquired taste to many. I personally think it's beautiful, while others think it's a trash fish, like a catfish, even though it's even though it's an extremely rare fish. Here's a picture of it. Marvelous. Beautiful. Look at him. You, you can almost see a fa uh, a, the, 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 the face of a monarch on it. Like it's the truly a king of the ocean. An amazing creature. Of high prestige. This fish is pretty cheap. All you're gonna need for this fish is a pair of Elon Musk soiled underwear. I know, I know, but I know. How are you gonna get his soiled underwear? Well, surprisingly, he may he has a lot of accidents. See, I know, you may seem with the per perfect man, he has a lot of accidents. And he sells all of, all of his undies to Goodwill. 
but he doesn't clean them. So that's how you can tell. If you see a big brown stain in Goodwill on the underwear, you might just have a good pair of Elon Musk soil underwear, which, you, which if you get one of them, a Michael might be in your possession real soon. Next, we're gonna look at rare fish exchange locations. Exchanging a rare fish is truly a beautiful process. It's an important process, you know? Like, it's like, it's like a two-man Kentucky Derby, you know? Not usually two-man. Sometimes multiple groups of people will join together in a great exchange, some similar to the World Trade Center, you know? Truly an amazing thing to watch. It's a beautiful event. But the location is extremely important. And there are three key factors to choosing a location to trade your rare fish. First of all, it needs to be clean. You don't want to look dirty. You're not hobos. You're not trash. You're esteemed rare, f rare fish investors. That means you get a cleanly exchange location. Because you are cleanly. No one wants to buy dirt, dirty, rare fish from a dirty man. Now, the next factor is safe. You want it to be safe. There's a lot of people who do a lot of bad things to a man who owns rare fish to get them. Rare fish are extremely coveted by many. You want to keep your rare fish a secret from others, other than others, only people you trust who you can have a fair trade with could be in on the deal. So you need to make sure it's a safe location. Next, fun. Who doesn't like to have a good little bit of fun? You know? Some entertainment is great to lighten the mood. If there's a light mood, you'll have a good deal. Trust me. I've had some bad mood play, mood exchange in my time. The deals never went well for me. Neither did they the person I was dealing with. They went horrible. Trust me. You don't want it to not be fun. You want it to be as fun as possible. Now, here's some examples of where you could go for an exchange. Concerts and shows. There's a lot of great concerts and shows out there for which you can do your exchange. Now, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of great examples. Wait, one of my personal favorite concerts, which is extremely safe, fun, and absolutely cleanly. Astro World. Oh my lord. La the exchange I had at Astro World was perfect. It was the one of the greatest exchanges I've ever had. I made so much money and so did everyone else. It was perfect. I don't think anyone lost a dime when they the second you enter that place and you start that exchange, you're not gonna lose a dime, bud. It was truly magical. The next place you can go to is a comedy show. A good laugh and humor always makes for a good exchange. A personal favorite show of mine was Pete Davidson's show in UCF. Truly an amazing show. Nothing bad happened there at all. He was a perfect showman, a perfect comedian, who would never blow up at the audience ever. Because a blow up at the audience makes up for a bad exchange, but he would never do that because he's Pete Davidson. Absolutely amazing. Now, the next one we're going to have is, uh, kind of contradicts the last one I just did. A personal favorite concert of mine that I went to for an exchange that went absolutely amazing was the Don Tu Showcase by Kanye West. Oh boy, was that a good concert. Just the lighting, the sound, oh, the sound design, it was absolutely amazing. No problems with the sound design at all. It was perfect in every way. And Kanye West, I don't think I've ever seen the man happier. I know he's gone through a lot of trouble, a lot of bad stuff going on at home, but he was absolutely shining that night. It was perfect. It was beautiful, and the rare fish we exchanged were even more beautiful. Oh, that was a night to remember. Oh, my God. Now, the next location is a little bit obvious when you're exchanging fish. But the next example of locations are places near or on the beach. The beach 
is beautiful. Everyone loves the beach. Who doesn't love the beach? You know, you got sand castles, sit in the sun, music, you know, swimming, surfboarding. Absolutely wonderful. Everyone loves the beach. And what's the beach next to? The ocean, home of rare fish. And that, so close to their home, allows you to, to exchange fish, rare fish, that were just caught. Fresh, rare fish go for a lot of money. Now, a good example of a good beach to exchange on is this. Good example. Clean, safe, and fun looking. Look at that beach. Look how fun that is. No, not that many people on it. Beautiful, clear water. Absolutely amazing beach. Nothing wrong with it at all. Now, the next beach truly showcases how safe an exchange should be. Because everyone knows a safety is probably one of the most important ones. That's why it's in the top three. Now, let's see. This is a beautiful, safe beach. Look at the wonderful, wonderful building you'll be having it on. Not that many people, but the people there are having a lot of fun. Nothing bad going on. Everything looks great. Beautiful scenery. The, the horizon is truly amazing. Almost flowing in a way that makes it seem like a wave. Truly amazing. Truly beautiful. You know, I've never seen anything quite like it. I had a, an exchange at this beach once. Absolutely amazing. But, sadly... We lost one or two rare fish. You know, I wasn't sure why. I went to the bathroom. I, I, you know, did number two, a little bit of number one, left. And the place was covered with water. And some people lost their fish. And I'm not sure why. It truly perplexes me to this day. I, don't, I, I truly don't know why. But now comes the next location. Up here. Everyone loves the pier. It's wonderful. It's got games. It's got rides. It's got arcades and restaurants and all kinds of fun. It's perfectly safe, too. See? They have an ambulance on standby right there. No particular reason why it's there. Just there just, just in case. Even though there really is no reason to have it just there just in case because it's the pier. Nothing ever bad happens at a pier. You know? Truly wonderful. Truly beautiful location. You can never go wrong with a good pier. Now, the next set of locations we have are Rich Uncle's House. Rich Uncles are very important. They're good advisors, but you have to remember, they are also traders of rare fish. So it's good to have a healthy, fun, ex friendly exchange with your good Rich Uncle. You know, a good rich uncle's house should look like this. Beautiful house, beautiful location. Nothing much to say about it. It's got a pool, looks like a castle, man. It's got beautiful stairs, beautiful, I don't know if that's stone or marble, but I like it. I like it a lot. It's beautiful, beautiful forgery along the fence. Truly an amazing location. But... There is one room every uncle has in his house that is mainly used for the exchange of rare fish and special playtime. Because special playtime is a great way to earn some rare fish from your uncle. Just like I did with my old uncle Joe Bob. So I'm going to show you the, the playtime exchange room. There. That is the playtime exchange room. Beautiful looking. I know, it's amazing. Truly a mystical, wonderful room that every one of your rich uncles should have. Just like my rich uncle Joe Bob. Beautiful and amazing. Look at it. It's got all those tools to hold, to sit down and hold your rare fish. It's beautiful. It's safe. It's nice looking. I already said beautiful, but I just can't get over how great it looks. It's amazing. Now... By the end of the night, 
I know this hasn't had much to do with location. This is more of a rare uncle thing. But a great reason to do it at your rich uncle's house is because calls up colleagues. You can call up colleagues at any time. Those colleagues usually being other rich uncles. To, ha to, go, to go congregate in the playtime exchange room and exchange rare fish and also to have secret playtime. I trust me, you want to go to your rich uncle's house. It's the safest option. I know Astro World, Pete Davidson, and Kanye's concerts were absolutely superb. But I can't say my favorite Grace Exchange always happened at my rich uncle's house. Truly amazing. Sadly, that's all I have for this presentation. You might be asking, Chiz, 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 what the heck, man? There's got to be more. But sadly, there isn't. Trading in rare fish is honestly one of the easiest, funnest, and most greatest ways to earn money fast. It's truly one of the best currencies we have of all time, really. I don't think anything really tops it. You know? It's just truly a beautiful, amazing thing. So I thank you so much for watching my presentation and for learning with me about the easy beginner ways to get into the rare fish trading. This is Chislord signing out. I hope you all have an amazing day.